This is a little short video about a building of a barn pad. I did very little bit of videoing as I was going along. I did it all by myself and kind of in a hurry. So it's a little barn pad for a hoop barn, 120 by 40. Well, there's our barn pad. We got it built, rolling in a clay a little bit. As you can see, we're three and a half to four feet. Three and a half to four feet high on that side. This is plus or minus about two inches right now, so that's level enough for us. Gonna put gravel on it tomorrow. There's about the three and a half, four feet down there. It's quite a bit. This little roller is an old roller I've had for about 15, 20 years. Bought it used out of the rental fleet. Um, but it served me pretty well. We had to fix it up quite a bit. Of course, as a ro vibratory roller, it self-destructs, so it shakes itself apart. But we don't use it much, but it does all right for us. And as far as I'm concerned, compaction is one of the main keys to having a good surface on a farm pad, a road, anything like that. You can put gravel on it and get by with a lot better, but compaction is key. Well, we got a load of black locusts. One's loaded while I went elsewhere. We got a few more to go. I just hated to, it makes good firewood. I've never sold any locusts on the sawmill, but we may sell one just to see what it looks like. But it's hard as a brick. But it does make good firewood. So, pretty good load. See if we can go get it unloaded. Well, I've never shown us loading anything on this tilt back trailer. So, I got the opportunity to watch one load. got a latch that I've already un unlatched. you'll notice those two hydraulic cylinders up underneath the front of this tilt part. Uh, they're not plumbed to anything, but the, the, I think they pass oil back and forth between each one of them. Uh, but it's just a dampener, is all it is, it dampens the, so it doesn't fall over real fast. It, just like a shock absorber, basically, is all it does. Like that, like that. And there you go. Weight distributed right, tilt it over, and we'll come on, pull it on forward, put the weight on the back of the truck. Somewhere along there. Spin around. Put the boom behind us. to let you down. And that's the way you take it out. We load dozer, backhoe, tractors. A few things doesn't work real good with, but 90% works just fine. 
when you get through and you don't have a machine, you can walk right up here. It's basically this goes down real slow. We got air cylinders. Works as shock absorbers, so it doesn't go back real and forward real quick. There you go. And as usual, thanks for watching, and God bless America.